what's up guys and gals welcome back to another video thank you guys so much for all the support y'all been giving me on these videos it's been going crazy this yes this video is going to be the one that i was talking about we i said that we would talk about i felt like it'd be a great thing to talk about i have just went to go see the john wick movie number four chapter four if you guys know about it then you know about it this video this movie as i would say goes crazy now for anybody who's listening to this right now this spoiler warnings this is going to be spoiler territory we're not going to talk about the end of the movie a lot because i don't want to spoil that much for anybody who hasn't been watching so we're going to try to leave it where it's not spoiling too much but i can't promise we don't spoil everything now to get started with this joint, we pull up to this movie and they see, like, I went by myself, not gonna lie, I decided to go by myself around, like, 11.40, movie, movie ticket was, like, $14, it was, it was a great time, now, don't get me wrong, the theater was most definitely packed, I'm over here, now, myself, I spaced myself out between people, so there was, like, two spaces, so I had space by myself, but, uh, yeah, there was definitely a lot of people there, and you could hear, you could basically hear everybody, like, chewing, all that stuff, I'm not gonna lie, I bought, I bought some, because I was definitely baked at the movie theater, I was like, okay, I need some food, so I got me, a uh, Freezy, I got me some nachos, and I got me some dipping Dots, I'm not gonna lie, I was going ham, because I was just like, huh, and I'm like, this is a three-hour movie, I need something to eat, so I was like, let's get into this joint. But the John Wick movie definitely was the craziest movie I've seen yet. I really do love the movie. Don't get me wrong. It definitely had me uh, sad at the end. But I definitely do love the movie. Um, we're definitely going to talk about the beginning. So the beginning, you know, John Wick comes in. And I'm not going to lie. He already starts murdering people. I'm not going to lie. And then they had, they had the guy with the bird. Now, I don't know all their names. I'm not going to be able to tell you all their names. I'm going to be able to describe them to you so you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. The guy with the birds. The guy with the birds come in, and he's just hilarious. No matter what scene he's in, he just makes jokes out of everything, and it's just hilarious to see. But when they start talking to John Wick about shit, and John Wick, you know, now goes out and starts murdering the person, you know, he murders the high captain table person i'm like oh shoot this is crazy he done all he done already murdered the guy who done you know silenced him last joint i'm like okay but he didn't earn his freedom and i'm like damn no freedom this is crazy we still on this freedom path but uh i said we were on that joint and i said okay now they start bringing us the china the china the china and i'm like oh shoot and they say that there's an actual base there for china too and i'm like oh the base has a China one as well. I'm like, okay, okay, understood, understood. And when we first get introduced, I'm not going to lie. When we see the girl and the black guy pull up, and now we have a black guy who's we call the track, they call the tracker in there. And he basically tracks, you know, he's looking for John Wick and, you know, bounties and money. And he has a dog, really nice dog and all that stuff. I'm like, okay, nice. So when we saw all that and he started, uh, they started having, they hired this blind guy, I'm not going to lie, hired a blind guy, and I'm thinking, okay, he has to be a badass because he's in this movie, so there's no way he's not a badass, but uh, either way, he starts, he, you know, he starts uh, coming in, and I'm like, okay, he's trying to find John, and they're all trying to be like, just give up John, I'm like, oh, damn, not John, come on now, and they find out that, you know, John's there, and they start attacking, and everybody's killing, and all that stuff, and I'm like, damn, y'all murdering, y'all murdering everybody for John, this is crazy, and basically, he has, they have the blind man's daughter hostage, and all that stuff, so the story is going really crazy when I watch this joint, now, fast forward a little bit, they start murking everybody at the China joint. I'm not going to lie. The Chinese people definitely went crazy. When they pulled out the bows and the swords, I was like, yo, this is going crazy. They about to murk. But then I'm like, damn, these people pull up deep. And then they start murking everybody. And now they're tied and tied. And I'm like, okay, they about to. Then now this is an even battle until they pull, until the whole continental pulls out like 25 more people. I'm like, oh, shoot. I'm like, yo, y'all better start running, start hitting the books. He's like, yo, 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 everybody to the back. I'm like, shoo. And then they still, they murdering everybody. And the daughter is all upset at John for, you know, risking her dad and stuff like that. 
And I'm like, oh, shoot. I'm trying not to get into too much spoiler warnings and stuff like that about this joint. But if you did, do if you like us talking about this, make sure you guys do like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy that joint. And let's get right back into the joint. But, you know, John's there. And I'm like, okay, they're killing everybody. And the Chinese lady who is the basically the hostess who usually hosts the desk when she gets out and she starts murking everybody i'm not gonna lie that joint went crazy i think the craziest part about her was when she was killing that guy going up the stairs like riding him and just murking him the whole way up i'm like damn like you know uh, he's dead after the th after the second or third one you gotta kill him the whole way up i'm like yo this is this is ridiculous but they go through all that, you know, John figures out that uh, he needs he needs to get into a family if he wants to actually challenge the upper rank so he wouldn't do it. Now, the evil guy in the main the main evil guy, as you would say, he's like tall, but he's like aggressive and he's basically controlling everything. And he's basically the person who took over. He's basically I think the son of the guy who took who John killed. And he's like basically he's like, yo, killing everybody. He kills the black guy from the mo from the hotel and i was like ain't no freaking way bro come on now not him like my boy did nothing wrong bro he was trying to be there for his for his guy for his friend and it was like damn bro but after all this they start raising john's bounty now i'm not gonna lie through the whole movie his bounty goes up all the way to like i think it was like 40 40 million now for me don't get me wrong 40 million is a lot of money i probably i want to see 40 million in my bank account just like all y'all but i said 40 million is a lot but let's let's remember that this is john wick i'm not gonna lie i felt like they definitely should have raised up his bounty more than 40 million at the end of the movie if it was up to me i definitely would have recommended them putting his bounty at like a hundred million or like uh probably like 500 million to be honest like i feel like because it's john wick the boogie the boogeyman as we all know him as he definitely should have had a way higher bounty but during the whole movie i think it was an amazing movie like having so many people involved in it they just had so many like people like john i'm not gonna lie john killed like 30 people in the beginning of the movie i was like yo this ain't no way he just murdered like 30 people already and we just started then when he got into the family and stuff like that, when they were like, how many bodies has John killed? I was like, bro, come on now. How are you going to ask John how many bodies he killed? You think he counts all these? He done murdered over, he done murdered 50 people outside. He probably murdered y'all. Um, you're lucky y'all tied him up. I'm not going to lie. When they started hanging him, I was like, hey, yo, what type of torture, what type of torture joint are y'all doing here, bro? But the Chinese blind guy was definitely another one that I would definitely say that was really cool. My boy was my boy was able to sense everything. And that's why I say blind people, you best be careful because they are hearing and their touch and sound is really they can hear almost everything. So it's like it's real easy. And he was real sharp on all his shots and all that. It was just hilarious to have that Chinese guy drinking uh, soup while everybody else was fighting. But um then they get into the scene where the black guy's chasing John, but he's he's not killing John only because he's waiting for John's bounty to go up and all that. And the Chinese guy is chasing John as well. And they meet they meet this guy, uh, fat guy that John has to kill to get into the family. Now I'm not gonna lie, this fat guy was like everybody when I first saw him, and everybody in the movie theater saw him. We were just like we all looked like mm, why why we got this guy in this joint? He ain't gonna do nothing. Now I'm not gonna lie, when that guy he was heavy set and he did that roundhouse kick, he changed all my perception all my perception i'm telling you he literally like roundhouse kicked john right off the joint and i'm like no way and then he picked up john and like folded him and then sumo plexed him i said yo you pulling out all the karate moves i'm wondering where you from but he was definitely going crazy trying not to go into too much spoilers stuff like that about like who dies and all that other stuff y'all know that it's john wick so a lot of people gotta die but we won't go into any of that stuff but i definitely say doing all this and then john finally getting the joint and going against the guy and having to now fight the guy who's uh, as i say the chinese guy who was actually his friend having to go against him the whole time definitely sucked and then like when he finally was at the end talking to his friend and they're like both like man we stuck in this game it sucked but then at the end you know it was definitely a great experience i love the ending the ending was fantastic i'm not gonna lie they definitely did it right now don't get me wrong i definitely was sad because i didn't 
want any of it to happen. But I know that they're going to have a John Wick 5. They're definitely going to have a John Wick 5 because, as I would say, he's the boogeyman. Me and my mom definitely agreed on that one because I talked to my mom about the joint. She didn't go with me, but she went by herself on uh, at a different time. So I was like, okay. It was definitely one of those joints of John most definitely will come back because he's the boogeyman. He's not supposed to technically die. So I'm like, and they just left so many different teasers that I feel like we could definitely talk about. If you guys want another time about talking about all the teasers that they left, the signs that are going to show that there should be a next movie, definitely tell me. I definitely don't mind making a story time or anything like that about that so we can talk about that. And I hope you guys did enjoy it this i hope that it makes you inspired and to actually go watch the movie the movie was fantastic i definitely need to rewatch it i'm definitely gonna rewatch it again because most of the time i was taking notes on everything that like they said and all that stuff like him wanting to be a loving husband and all that stuff now there was definitely something that he said at the end of the movie they most definitely had him and everybody who was chasing him they were getting hit by cars too much. I was not going to lie. I don't. I get it because they're in the main street, but golly, like every 10 seconds, you hearing somebody, boom, somebody get hit by a car. Another guy get hit by a car. I'm like, damn, we just getting hit by cars. One more thing I did, did forget to tell y'all is when John gets to the end of the joint. Now, he done fell from a roof. Like, you know John's usually joint up. They falling from roofs and all that. And usually this happened after... They said that they had the challenge. They had a challenge between him and the evil guy. They're supposed to start at noon. And we all know that most John Wick movies, they have he's supposed to go against the guy, but then he has a few hours before he has to fight the guy. And there's usually when everybody starts chasing him down and bidding for him and all that. So now he jumps down off this window, out this house, to the van. And this is a huge jump. I'm talking about like maybe like 40 feet down. So I'm amazed that he... Hits the car, makes a dent in the car, he just walks it off. Like, yes, he's wobbling, but he should definitely be more hurt than that. So, that one was actually really, really hilarious. And then he starts walking, and he starts going up these stairs to make it to the church. Now, that part was definitely crazy, because he had to kill everybody. And he walked all the way up. This is 200, they said 200 and something stairs. I think it was 250. 250 stairs? He has to walk over 250 stairs, kill everybody. Kills everybody. He's almost at the top. And then... The guys, there's like 50 more guys, and they knock him back all the way down the 250 steps. I said, that's crazy. But then his boy comes in and saves him. I'm like, hey, this is crazy. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy uh, this conversation that you and me had. You know, if you guys like some of the part of the movie, yo, make sure you put it in the comment section below so I can, you know, respond to them as well. Because I said I really like the movie. I want to see how you guys like the movie. What rating would you guys give? Out of 10, what rating would you guys give? And I said, the moral of the story, don't mess with John Wick. John Wick will kill you. He said that he was going to kill anybody. Yeah, he's going to kill you. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate all the love y'all been giving me. Thank you so much. And I'm going to see y'all in the next story time.